two of English 106. So to begin with this week, we're going to be focusing mostly on the primary source essay, which is found in Unit 1. So to access information about the primary source essay, go to the Units tab off to the left, then choose Unit 1, Primary Source Essay. Then choose Week 2. Located in this folder, you will find how to build an outline and closing logical gaps and creating transitions. How to make your sentences flow smoothly when you go to compose your essay. Also included here will be some MLA documentation guides to help you with MLA. Um, when you look at the course calendar, which is found under the Start Here tab, you can find a tentative breakdown week by week of what you're going to be working on. So, for example, if you haven't watched my video for the week, you can always go to the course calendar if you want to work ahead, if you have a busy week coming up and you want to prepare. This is a great source that you have. And again, it's always found under the Start Here tab, and it's called the course calendar. Each week, there's a breakdown of what you should listen to, such as pre-recorded PowerPoints, what you should read from your little Euler Hamburg book or the Research Writer book, um, things that need to be posted to the discussion boards or to the journal, what you should be writing for the week, and then what you should be submitting for the week. So it's a nice little breakdown so you can look at a glance at what's coming up. Um, for this week, um, you should be listening to the recorded session on the primary source paper and also listen to MLA documentation. You can find this recording under the Assignments tab, and you can also find the MLA documentation under that tab as well. And there's an additional MLA documentation narrated PowerPoint, which you can find under Unit 1, Primary Source Essay. And it's called MLA Documentation, A Quick and Concise Guide. That's another narrated PowerPoint to help you with MLA. Now, for this week, these are the readings. Um, in Research Writer, you are reading about MLA style on pages 371 to 420. And then also in the Little Euler Handbook, pages 109 through 57, is more information about MLA documentation. So we're quite, throwing quite a few things at you this week about MLA. The next thing you want to do is choose two of the sources from the approved list in the primary source folder. Now I understand the links do not work, so what I have done is created PDFs of all of these sources. You may find them under the Units tab, then go to Unit 1 Primary Source Essay, and there you will find a folder called Primary Source Paper Sources. Every one of your primary and secondary sources is been converted to a PDF there for you to find. So keep in mind, when you go to write your primary source essay, you are looking for at least one paraphrase and one direct quotation, and then looking at at least two secondary sources. Combined, you're looking for at least one direct quotation and one paraphrase. So overall, in the entire primary source essay, a minimum of two paraphrases and two direct quotations are required. For this week, you should be posting an outline of your paper. Submit this to Week 2 Discussion Board by Wednesday at 5 p.m. Feedback will be provided, and information on how to write an outline can be found again under the Units tab, then go to Unit 1 Primary Source Essay, and then go to Week 2. Again, that's some information to help you when you go to write the outline. This week, you should start writing the rough drafts. The entire rough draft is not due by the end of the week, but this is a good time to start working on it because feedback will be available. And this is what you are submitting then. The progress of your rough draft by 5 o'clock p.m. on Friday in week two. So what you're looking for, um, the content of the work that you have. I am not expecting to see an entire essay completed by the next Friday, this Friday. So um, just give me the progress. Um, what have you got so far? Maybe you've got a couple paragraphs. Maybe you have a page. Um, send me what you have, everything you've done. This will help me determine if you're making enough progress, if you're going to you need to spend more time on it, um, insight into the kind of writing that you're doing so I can assist you with some feedback. Um, you know, I won't read every journal as if it is a rough draft, you know, in critically examining them, but I will give you a brief summary of, you know, how I feel you're progressing. If I see a common mistake you're making again and again, I'll give you some just some general feedback. Again, not a very intense overview of your rough draft, just a heads up on where you're going. 
And then I'm also going to ask you to submit how you feel about your progress so far. Do you feel comfortable with what you've done? Do you feel stuck? Do you need more help? Do you have questions about how to proceed? Uh, maybe you're stuck on MLA documentation. I can point you in another direction. Um, how do you feel about it? So you're sending me what you've done, and you're also telling me how you feel about it. Um, and that's it for week two. Hopefully this will get you, you know, really well into the primary source essay, and we can work together on, you know, where you need to go from here. So as always, if you have questions, please send me an email. Um, keep in mind, I will respond within 24 hours. Um, I will more than likely be responding to you in the evenings as um, I am teaching during the day, so it's very difficult for me to get to the computer and, and answer emails. I will if I can, but I will all, always get back to you within 24 hours. And again, more than likely, look for my responses in the evening times. Weekends, 48-hour turnaround for emails. So keep that in mind, and please you know, keep looking for updates. Please keep looking under the Announcement tab. I've been sending out some emails to remind you about things and where you should be. So please keep checking your email. Good habit to get into. Check your email each day so you do not fall behind. So have a good week, and I will see you in week three.